Oh, as always, my goodness. <laughs> Forget the date. Hello. It's the, uh... I think it's the 29th. It's always the one thing I completely forget and left my phone upstairs. It's the it's the 29th of May. It could be the 28th of May. It might be the 29th of May. It's the 29th of May. I think it's the 29th of May, 2024. Okay, so I got the uh, 3:20 p.m. session of Mad Max. Furiosa at Dendi Cinema in Newtown, and there was, uh, the way I like it, there was all of about ten people in the cinema, I sat at the back, the rest of the folks sat down that way, and, uh, now the only reason I, the only reason I went to see it, the only reason I went to see it was because it's a Mad Max, part, part of the Mad Max films, and I wasn't totally, didn't think that I was totally interested in Fur Furiosa's adventure, and I real, just realised now there's a couple of things that I forgot to bring down here so I can refer to them and oh, oh, anyway <sighs> take this off because I can take this off so Fur Furiosa um, I, I, I wasn't totally interested in the Furiosa story and I, Okay, so I don't dislike Chris Hemsworth. I, don't, I haven't seen any of his movies. Not a fan. Don't dislike him. Think he's okay. And so I, I thought, I'll go see it on the big screen. I'll go see it. And I'm probably not going to like it. And uh, cause I didn't have that much of an interest in, 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 interest in Free Rose's story. And so I saw it. My, my goodness, my goodness. <laughs> really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Um, doesn't have anything to do with Max's character. Um, I sat. I think I sat down it with a neutral attitude of, you know, I don't know what to expect from this. I didn't like Fury Road. I didn't like the script of Fury Road. And I thought, please don't be any cringeworthy one-liners in this. Please don't want any one-liners in this. And there's, there's not. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. I mean, it was... <laughs> it's uh, it's um, really well done. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed almost every moment of it. Really well done. And one thing I noticed that everything was made more simplistic. Uh, Fury Road made the, the action sequences of Fury Road were quite complicated. And uh, with Furiosa, um, the action sequences are simple. Uh, more, they're more simple. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they weren't simple to film, but they. Everything is uh, very, to me, everything came across quite differently than Fury Road. I enjoyed it far more. I enjoyed all the characters far more. Nothing uh, annoyed me. Chris Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth does quite an interesting uh, portrayal of the villain. He, uh, does, he's uh, d Dementus. He, he, he uh, I think he plays it in a, a subtle, subtle manner. Uh, qu quite, um, I, s my favourite character of the movie was the, the, the girl, the girl who played Furiosa, right at this very moment, I can't, I don't really know her name, and then her adult, adult, the adult woman who, who, who plays her, her teen and the, the, the womanhood years, um, I really, thought she was the star of the show. Chris Hemsworth does, did a great job. All the other character, all the other actors, all the other characters involved, all the other, the, the, all the other, um, all the other names involved. Do I? Uh, I thought that they did a great job. Now, to me, 
the photography was a big character of, of it was a character unto itself the blacks and the whites the colors the way George the way uh, the way the way the way um, Kennedy Miller the way that George uh, Miller has a photographer uh, it, it was um, I thought that it was extremely well done I liked all the colors he used I liked uh, the angles it was almost portrait like at times it's um and and, and the photography, much of the time, with certain shots, was a, was a character unto itself, and uh, I just was. I thought it was well done, and a different movie to Fury Road. I enjoyed it far more than I liked. I, I didn't really like Fury Road, but I enjoyed this, and I went in there neutral, uh, sort of not expecting to like it. And the only reason I went to say it was because. Mad Max Saga, and really enjoyed it, and, uh, uh, and, and the soundtrack, the soundtrack is uh, very important in the movie, the soundtrack is very important, Furio, so yes, I'm not going to talk too much about the, uh, the, the plot line, the plot line was quite far more easier to uh, understand, it's been a long time since I've seen Fury Road, um, but the, um, the storyline, Furiosa, she goes on a big journey, she goes on a huge journey, and I felt, uh, entertained and captivated, and I, 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 there wasn't a moment where I became, um, disinterested or bored, I, it, it, uh, had, it was very good pacing, and the characters were interesting. And especially the vehicles in the movie. The vehicles are great. Oh, such, such really good cinema photography throughout. Dynamic in a sense, and um, I didn't expect to enjoy it, but I did, and. Uh, I, uh, what I can just say is that, um, oh, I'm not going to say about the end credits, because I know I'm not going to put any spoilers in here at all, at all. Not that they're necessarily spoilers, I just, with the end credits, what they did with them, I'm not sure that was entirely necessary. I was like, okay, but I don't know that I'm not sure that was entirely necessary to include that. However, uh, I mean, it was, a, it was a riveting story. It ke kept me in tune, like I was, kept me interested the whole way through. And I suppose, look, I'll say this. If this, just say this film is 10 years old, is it, with films that are 10 years old or beyond whatnot, I speak about them a lot more. But with, with something which is present and it's just a new release and it's just come out I'm going to speak for probably a few minutes and just give my, my, my straight away thoughts and it was just um, yeah yeah um, darker um, yeah and it this worked better um So very good. H highly recommended. Definitely, definitely go watch it. Definitely go watch it. And the person who played Fur the, the, the girl who played young Furiosa and the and the woman who played Furiosa, uh, uh, as, she, as she's older, she was terrific. She was wonderful. She was, she was really wonderful. And the cinema photography, the cinema photography was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yes. So, um, Midnight Charlie Man, Patrick Kieran, and, uh, hey, pick me up for your next movie. Hey, pick me up for your next movie. 
Um, <laughs> all right then. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very good. Anything I'm doing, you know? Just, uh, dear, the colours were really good. Come really good colours. Cars were great. The vehicles were great. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Midnight Charlie Man Patrick. It's the 30th of Midnight Charlie Man Patrick here, and it's the 30th of May 2024. <laughs> Mad Max Fur Mad Max Furiosa. I saw it for the second time today. I went to the 12. I went to Newtown Dendy. Got the 12, I got, I decided I wanted to see the uh, 2.20 p.m. session today. Uh, second time around, Furiosa. Wow, you know, um, it was just, I was able to, to focus on, I was able to focus on more this time, and there was definitely uh, characters and actors in the film, characters, actors in the film that, 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 uh, Probably that was great. It was just as good as the first time, and uh, I have written down some very important information with my glasses on. I can read it. There are some people. Tom Burke, who plays the guy who who drives the rig, and he develops that bond with Furiosa. Um, now, let's see, so cost 168 million, and it was actually filmed on. Uh, and I watched the very end credits I always do. It's filmed on location in Broken Hill and out in Hay in, this, in Sydney, New South Wales, right? Anna Taylor Joy, she plays the, the later Furiosa, the woman Furiosa, and and Aaliyah Brown plays Furiosa's girl. And I thought they both did a great job. Furiosa, the, the, these two actors are fantastic in it, and um. Uh, fantastic, isn't it? And, uh, you know what? You know what? Um, Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth plays this sort of kind of subtle villain. And she's actually... It's his eyes. I think George Miller might have chose Chris, Chris, Chris Hemsworth for his eyes because... I think it's uh, it, it has it, Chris Hemsworth does have a certain quality, and uh, it's all in the eyes. And uh, now the guy who played Immortan Joe, because uh, Hugh Keyburn's passed a while back, and can't remember his name, but the, the guy who played Immortan Joe, boy, is he he's so good. Jeez, his eyes are so good. But I've got to say that Furiosa, I. I, I just thought that she was my she's my main character in the film. She she was um, Furiosa uh, carried the movie. For, uh, uh, there was a few other quite a few other characters in there. Ah oh, look, it's the photography. As I said last night, it's the photography, it's the colours, it's the blacks in the movie, it's the landscape, the cinema photography. It's if I mean George Miller. I mean. George Miller must have a very, very good communication with his, with his cinema photographer because um, the cinema photography was a character unto itself. It was, I mean, some of the shots were, they, they were incredible. Most of the shots were incredible. And it, uh, I felt, once again, I was able to focus on some of the other things in the movie, some of the other things, but really just still focusing on the plot line and all that, which I'm not going to talk about here. I don't want to do any spoils or anything like that, but um, it was just, it was a, um, I was about to say it was a big journey. It was, it was, it was, it was captivating. It was well paced. It goes for two and a half hours, but it didn't feel like that. And also this time, this time, 
This time. This time. <laughs> oh. This time. This time. This time. This time. Uh, I thought I'll pick the time today where I think no one will be in the cinema. And there was two people. There was three of us in the cinema, and the two other people were in the middle. I went right up the back. I went right up the back. And. Uh, yeah, it was, oh, and I actually started to watch Fury Road, I watched Fury Road again last night because I did another taste of Fury Road, so, and now I'm seeing Fury Road from a different point of view, um, because, um, I think, uh, Tom Hardy's Max was a bit, a bit, uh, wonky, a bit, Bobbly, and uh, in a sense, in a way, and uh, if, uh, watching Fury Road last night. I started doing it all the way through watching Fury Road last night. It was just a sort of uh, really focused on Furiosa, and um, this is Charlie's Throne, threes, threes, uh, but uh, Furiosa, big journey, well paced. The cinema photography is, it's sublime, it's, it's, it, you get, you get stark, and the colours are used well, colours, it presents an atmosphere, it presents, a, it presents an atmosphere, it presents an atmosphere, it presents an atmosphere, um, presents an atmosphere, presents an atmosphere, um, it's just, the colours, they, they pop, but the, the subtle, and, uh, Less complex than Fury Road, I found it more enjoyable. Um, war, from war, from war, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and um, uh, so um. Uh, um, my favorite, my favorite in it was Furio. So she was my favorite in it. In Morton Joe, he, um, the guy who played him, whew, he was good. All in the eyes, the eyes, and uh, uh, the photography it was good. It was good. Yeah. It's not about Max. This movie's not about Max. It's not about Max Rokitansky. Ruk Ruk it's, um, ooh, riveting, riveting. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And, uh, whew. Right. Okay, then. Okay. Hey, hey, look what I got here. Oh, what I got here. Look what I've got here. Look, look what I've got here. Look what I've got here. Now, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And uh, Furiosa, highly recommended, highly recommended. And uh, I not really get to the movies very often. I, I prefer to watch movies by myself at home. But choosing a um, midday session, choosing the 12, 10 p.m. session, I was only three people in the cinema, I kind of like that. Uh, yes. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, yes. Furiosa, I recommend it. Highly recommend it. Okay, very good.